think we can all relate to the feeling of having dug ourselves into a hole that feels just a little bit too big or a little bit too deep for us to pull ourselves out of again. Or the feeling of just being a little bit more discouraged or unmotivated than usual or unsure of what step to take next to move ourselves forward. In this video, I want to share with you guys what I like to do whenever I am having a time where I'm feeling like this. Recently, I took a personal reset day, which was basically just a day where I could kind of gather my motivation, gather my clarity, and help me to feel encouraged to move forward. The first thing I did on my personal reset day was I got out of bed and made my bed first thing. So this is a great habit. I love to do this, not just on personal reset days, but in general, I find that starting my morning with making my bed, one, it prevents me from getting back into it, but two, it also just feels feels great starting my day with um, a little bit of cleanliness and clarity and organization and it really helps just bring that clarity and cleanliness into the rest of the day. I then got my journal and wrote my thoughts down into my journal. This was kind of a brainstorm session. I didn't have any prompts that I was writing. I didn't have anything specific that I felt like I needed to be writing. It really was just me kind of clearing my headspace to make room for the rest of the day and make room for a little bit of organization instead of just having so many thoughts crowded in my mind. For me, I find that writing is just a great way to really kind of get everything out of my head onto paper and then just making a little bit of room in my head for some headspace and some clarity. After brainstorming my ideas onto paper, I had a healthy breakfast to just give me that good energy for the day because on a reset day, you definitely need it. And then I decided to get some fresh air and go for a walk. I think it's important on a personal reset day or any day really to have some kind of movement in the beginning of the day again just to kind of kickstart your day but also just i find that getting fresh air is so important and it really helps to kind of energize you whatever you decide to do i would encourage you to get some fresh air and then also get some movement in everything up until now having a healthy breakfast getting movement in getting outside getting some fresh air um, making my bed, writing in my journal. It was all just to get myself in the right headspace and to have the right mindset for organizing the rest of my reset day. I find it really important, especially on a personal reset day, that you are taking the time to really nourish yourself to help you feel ready for the rest of the day. This is also why when I came back from my walk, even though I knew I would be spending most, if not all of my day inside in my apartment alone, that I took the time to get ready, get dressed, do my hair, do my makeup, and really feel not just mentally ready for the day, but also physically. I feel like this getting ready really helped put me in the right mindset that this wasn't just gonna be a lounge around the house kind of a day, but it really was gonna be a reset day of work and finding clarity and figuring things out. So after preparing myself both mentally and physically, I was ready to kind of get into the meeting of my reset day and these are sort of the more concrete steps that I take when I do have a reset day. The first sort of more concrete step that I take on a reset day is to clean the space around me. So I find that organizing my space is a huge help in organizing my headspace. So I set a timer for 30 to 60 minutes and then I just clean whatever areas I feel like need a little bit of organization or cleaning. This is not meant to be a deep clean of any one area. It's more just kind of scratching the surface, getting things picked up that are easy to pick up, doing the dishes if you have some dishes standing in the sink or vacuuming if there's an area of your house or apartment that you need a vacuum. Just kind of getting those on the surface things taken care of. For me, I had a space next to my desk that had been messy for quite a while. I went on a photography trip and when I came back I just kind of left my photography suitcase there and it became sort of a stockpile for random things. I decided to take some time to clean the space just because it was something that had been needing to be done for probably a couple of weeks at this point and also I just took a quick vacuum through the entire apartment, did some dishes, just generally cleaned up my space a little bit to have a nice clean space 
to work in. But like I said, this is not meant to be a deep clean of any one area. And if you need to definitely set a timer for 30 to 60 minutes and whenever those 30 to 60 minutes are up, just move on to the next step on your reset day. Another thing that I just wanted to mention is that on a reset day, I put my phone on airplane mode. I really want to take this day to focus on me and getting clarity and focus back in my life. So I don't want a lot of outside distractions. Just go ahead and turn your phone off or put it on airplane mode so that you can really just take this day to focus on you without being distracted. So now that the space around you will feel a little bit more manageable, and you've gotten going for the day the next thing that I do on a reset day is I write a to-do list the kind of to-do list that I write on a reset day is not just small tasks for the day that I want to get done it's really a brainstorm of everything that I can think of that I need to get done that is on my mind that I want to get done in the future I call this list my everything list and it really is just a list of everything I can think of that I need to get done or that I want to get done things that I might feel behind on that I want to take the time to catch up on any small tasks around the house that need to get done any big goals that I have in my business that I want to actually start working on. Similar to journaling, the point is not for you to make a list that you will be able to at the end of the day check everything off, but the point is really just to get everything out of your head and onto paper so that you can clear your headspace, feel a little more clarity and a little more focus. You can save these tasks for another personal admin day or you can use a system with having a master to-do list List and then having a smaller daily to-do list, which is what I do. If you guys are interested in hearing how I work with having a master to-do list and then smaller daily to-do list, then definitely let me know. I'd love to share a video with you guys on that. But with this exercise for now, the point is just to get all your to-dos down on paper. Your next step after having created this master to-do list is to go through your master to-do list and look for any tasks that would take you 10 minutes or less to complete. Write those 10 minutes or less tasks down on a separate piece of paper. And these are the ones that we're gonna try to tackle as many as possible on our our personal reset day. For this activity, I suggest setting a timer for about 30 to 60 minutes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to tackle as many of these tasks as possible within that time limit. We may not be able to finish all of the 10 minute or less tasks from our to-do list and that's totally fine, that's not the point, but set a timer for 30 to 60 minutes and just start tackling those tasks one by one. A couple of the things I was able to get done doing this was I had some decorations sitting around that I needed to take to the basement. I got that done. I had some mail that needed to be taken to the post office. I had some emails that needed to be answered that had been sitting in my inbox for a while. So I got that out of the way. By the end of the 60 minutes that I'd given myself, I had five to six tasks done which felt really great because it was just a little bit of weight lifted off my shoulder and that's really the point of this activity is to just get as many of the small things that occupy space in your head just done and out of the way out of your head to again clear some headspace for what is important next step for me on a personal reset day is to create a routine i find often that when we get into these times where we just feel a little bit lost or a little little bit discouraged it's because we have veered away from routine and we're missing a little bit of structure in our lives for me that's what I had been noticing in my life and I really felt like I needed to take this time to set myself up for success in the future and to prevent myself from getting into a rut like this again so I took some time to write out a morning and an evening routine I didn't make a routine for an entire day or anything like that I really think the important thing is to sort of book end your days with routine because you can't really control every single day what happens in between that morning and that evening but you can create structure for yourself in the mornings and in the evenings so that's what I did I sat down and created a morning and evening routine just kind of bring back that routine and structure into my life I felt like this really gave me a lot of encouragement and a lot of motivation to just 
keep moving forward and to hopefully not see myself kind of fall into this hole that I was trying to get myself out of again. So I think it's really important on a personal reset day to also take time to think about how can I prevent myself from needing another reset day in a week, in two weeks, in a month? What are the habits and what are the routines and the structure that I can bring into my life to prevent myself from getting to a point where I need an entire day to reset again? Ideally, we want to try to structure our days and our lives in a way that we are feeling like we are thriving day to day. After creating my morning and evening routine, I printed those out and hung them up around my apartment because I really find that visual cues and just having things hanging around to kind of remind you of the goals that you've set or of the routines that you've built, it really helps you just keep that in focus and to actually follow it. So that was basically what I did on my personal reset day. And I went to bed that night feeling just really like a weight had been lifted off my shoulder and also just really clear and intentional about the way that I wanted to move forward and avoid myself from getting in a rut again. More than this video, if you guys want a clear overview of what I do on a personal reset day, then head to my blog and download my free resource for a personal reset day checklist. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more videos like this and I will see you all later. Have a great day.